Every year, around 13,000 houses are demolished in the Netherlands alone. Those that are left consume massive amounts of energy and are deemed largely unsustainable. We all want to build a brighter future, so we tear down the old to make room for the new. This happens all around the world. What we don't immediately realize is that there is a tremendously huge price attached. Not only do we break the emotional bond that makes houses into homes, but we also lose some of the cultural and historical values that are attached to our homes and neighborhoods. Recently, however, we are beginning to recognize these values as important social anchors that we can identify with and that make us who we are. Currently, of the 7 million homes in the Netherlands, less than 1% of these are replaced by new houses, but our cities are growing, and the longing for the urban experience demands for existing neighborhoods to be adapted to the ever-changing lifestyles of multiple generations of residents. This is the age of renewal. We in pret a devote ourselves to the preservation of homes and neighborhoods, a devotion that is rooted in the belief that our future should be based on the richness of our past. Our focus is on a street with typical Dutch row houses inhabited by working professionals, elderly citizens and families. Meet Dennis. Dennis's family has lived here since the 1960s. As a project architect of the pret team, I'm really proud we took these houses as our case study. It's not only typical Dutch, but it's also in my family for more than 40 years. The town of Honselersdijk is well known for its horticultural industry with its many acres of greenhouses. The typology of the row house is very common in the Netherlands and has sprung from a post-war housing shortage that required fast, inexpensive housing solutions for the predominant middle class. These houses are not only built of materials, but they're also built of emotions and memories of people living here. Ik was toen uh, nog klein en uh, in mijn optiek was het een heel groot huis. En ik heb daar mijn jeugd doorgebracht en uh, ontzettend veel plezier gehad. En ik kan me wel herinneren dat ik het altijd heel koud vond. Het was altijd koud. En we hadden vroeger alleen maar kachels uh, eerst in huis en heeft mijn vader heeft daar uh, uh, centrale verwarming van gemaakt. Maar dat was boven mocht het ook niet te warm worden, dus had kleine radiatoren zodat het niet meer dan 15 graden werd, dus dat ik altijd zwinters met een trui aan zat te studeren. We not only focusing on one house, but also on the whole street and even the whole neighborhood. Because it's not about one house making one house sustainable, but it's about making the whole street, the whole neighborhood and even the whole city sustainable. So it can last and make the world a little bit better. Petaloge attempts to respond directly to the notion of preserving what is already there. By this, we mean the existing structural elements and services that are capable of lasting for many more years. But much more importantly, we mean the lives of the inhabitants that call these places their home. So in order to achieve this balance between preservation and enhancement, we propose a skin that wraps itself over the existing neighborhood. On an urban scale, the skin will allow for residents of all ages to contribute in the creation of a vibrant community by providing and mediating between shared public setting and intimate private spaces. For the individual homes, the skin's main functions will be aimed at the reduction, production and reuse of energy, food and water, the essentials of what make a home ready to live. The seamless integration of technology, such as photovoltaics and solar greenhouses, like those common in the region, plays a crucial role in the design of the skin. In the summer, the skin is open and airy while the solar PVs generate electricity and provide shading. Heat escapes through openings in the skin at the ridge. The existing house ventilates itself through the use of the chimney which releases stale, warm air while drawing in fresh, cool air from the crawl space underneath the building. In the winter, the skin remains closed, trapping the heat from the low-lying sun creating a climatic buffer zone. The heat exchangers within the refitted chimney will ensure that heat loss through ventilation is kept to a minimum and that fresh air that enters the house is heated up to a comfortable temperature. We believe that technology is the key to improving our lives, but it would mean nothing if it came to replace the spaces that we have come to call our home. <laughs>